Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse number 5. We have powerful testimonies here. Somebody who had cancer. Doctors were preparing the person for chemotherapy. After prayer in direction, doctor said no more chemotherapy. Cancer free. We want the testimony very soon. We want the testimony very soon. Amazing testimony God is bringing our way. Amen. Um, tomorrow I'm supposed to meet the cathedral partners, but I will not be able to meet them. Because tomorrow I want to sit down to meet people. So 6 p.m. I'm going to sit down to see people. At the end of the first service, they gave about 100 numbers. And this service today will give numbers as well. Amen. But tomorrow I'll see about 80 people. Those who I can see, I'll move them to Tuesday by the grace of God. Amen. As you don't know the path of the wind or how the body is formed in the mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. Help me to speak to somebody on your left and right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. You were born. You were born. With a purpose. With a purpose. May nothing stop you. May nothing stop you. Tell, 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 tell the other person. Cameraman. Cameraman. My name is Mubon. Come here, baby. My name is Mubon. baby. Yeah. Again. For the last time. You were born with a purpose. It may not stop you. You were born with purpose. May nothing stop you. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. So they can be taken, but they don't cross into the middle aisle. Amen. Let me tell you something. God created you a spirit. This is you. The moment God spoke, you appeared as a spirit. But as a spirit, you can never come here to perform. Not until he fashion you and form you in the womb of your mother. Now your spirit is now placed in the container. And the name of the container is called your body. So who you are is not your body. Who you are is your spirit. Who you become, the number of years you live on earth, all of them are in your spirit. But what happens to a person, all of them begins in the womb. Because when you are a spirit, you are by your maker. But when you are in the womb, anything can happen. You take on the DNA, you take on the genes, you take on the blood, and you take on the things that happen spiritually. If around you, attacks were coming on your mother, whilst you were in the womb, anything could have happened. Mary and um, Elizabeth met together. When they only spoke, the baby started jumping. Which means words can affect what is in the womb. Today, I came to ask you one question. What word has been spoken on you when you were in the womb? If it was a good word, hear me. The Bible says, when the words were spoke, spoken, the baby jumped, which is good. What if it was a bad word? It could have deformed and damaged the baby. Somebody can have a baby in the womb all of a sudden. Anything can happen for the person to go through miscarriage. Now, miscarriage of people is not only miscarriage about a child in the womb. Destiny miscarriage is also there. What is destiny miscarriage? Destiny miscarriage is when a person is not able to realize their destiny. Because destiny means destination. Destination means the end point. So your destiny will determine what will come out of you at the end point. The end point is not the day of death. The end point is the end of everything you begin. When you go to school, the destiny of the school is for you to, is for you to complete, graduate. So if you don't graduate, you've not realized the destiny of the school. The business you are doing, the destiny of the business is to see profit. If prophets don't come, it means you're not able to realize it. It means your destiny has been miscarried. Now, there are some things we call destiny deformities. What is a destiny deformity? Anything that comes to a person to make sure they are not able to enjoy their destiny. I know many people here are waiting for me to tell you how to discover your purpose. I will say it on next week. Nine pointers for you to understand how to discover your purpose. And one thing I can boldly tell you, your purpose, for you to discover your purpose, the type of attacks you get signify the purpose you have. If you don't have any great purpose, your attack is very small. But if your purpose is very great, attacks will be very great. Now, what is a destiny deformity? Whatever comes to a person's destiny to make sure it doesn't happen. And I have 12, I wrote down, I come to give you six. Number one, the first form of a destiny deformity for writing, the first form of a destiny deformity, give me good sound, good bass, I'm increasing the volume. 
the, the best, the first one, the best one, the first one, the first one is this. A destiny deformity, the first one is what we call delay. When delay comes on a person, it comes to shatter off everything the person is able to enjoy. And today may delay not find you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two, the second form of destiny deformity is disappointment. It's when you go through a shock of your life, you have been disappointed. Clear example is what happened to Kwame Nkrumah in 1966. His destiny is to be the president of Ghana. His destiny is to make sure he finds a united front of Africa, United States of Africa. His destiny is to make sure that Africans prosper. He goes to Hanoi, Vietnam, come, couldn't come back. And now his own people he trusted had disappointed him, found himself all the way in Guinea. And Kwame Nkrumah never showed up again. His destiny disappointment didn't let him go through his destiny. What he was, listen to me, few years he was around, look at the motorway, few years, Tema Oil Refinery, imagine if he was not being disappointed by his people, do you know what Ghana could have been? So destiny disappointment are destiny deformities. If anybody always tries to disappoint you, run away from them. Because let me tell you, they are deforming. Number three, number three, Number three, form of destiny dis um, de deformities. Almost there. You always go close to it, but you are not able to have it. It's called the spirit of almost there. It's a destiny deformity. Because your destiny is located at there, but you al went almost there. It's a destiny deformity. The next one is this. The fourth one. Wow, this is a serious one. Wrong association. If I meet four people who are wise, the fifth person will end up being wise. Because it will jump on them. If I see four people who are fools, and you are wise and you go close to them, it's only a matter of time. You end up becoming... If you are broke... And you connect yourself to four millionaires. You shall be the next fifth. Amen. Church, association and connection determines your destiny. No matter who you are. Who are you surrounding yourself with? If you surround yourself with nobodies, you end up becoming nobody. May wrong... Church, listen to me. Association can cause a whole lot of things. You can have a very, a very good mind, but the wrong association, they can pull you backwards. And some of you, sometimes, you are afraid to say no. Because thinking about how the other person will feel. Who told you? Look at your phone. You have thousand contacts on your phone right now. Tomorrow, if you have a police case and they ask you, bring 100,000 surety. How many of the thousand people can you bring to the police station to give you a surety to, to take you out of bail? It's time, thank you. It's time for you to let go. Disconnect wrong associations. They can affect your destiny. Every great person you see who fell down, check they were not far away. Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso. Blaise Campore, his defense guy. Patrice Lumumba of Congo. Who, who, who was the evil guy against him? Mobutu. And all of them were close people. Kwame Nkrumah, I don't know if he mentioned it. You check all of them, whatever that, always, 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 it is somebody that is close to you. If you don't even know, go and ask the man whose name is called Jesus. The one who betrayed him was very far away. Was very far away. Was he close? He was the one keeping his money for him. If I don't trust you, will you keep my money? His name was called Judas. He was close. If you don't believe me, go and ask the man whose name is called Samson. The one who brought him down. The name is called Sister Madame Miss Delilah. I'm still waiting for her surname. Whether, whether the surname is from either Volta region, Asante region, whether it's from Accra, 
whether it's from eastern region or northern region. Now let's do a simple study. Where do you think the ladder was coming from? Asante region, Accra, Vota, <laughs> eastern region, Burkina Faso, or maybe it was from Nigeria. From Ivory Coast, from Ghana. I know she'll be from Ghana. Because Ghana people, they are. Or was, or, or, or was the dollar from Nungua? But, Chacho, hear me. Hear me. You tell somebody you love them, but you bring his downfall. Church, Samson's destiny. After Samson ruled the people for so many years, let me tell you the truth. At his last minute, when he was dying, his eyes were taken away. Is it how God wanted him to die? But because of wrong association, his destiny ended overnight. In your business you want to do, who is your business partner? You can smile. With, listen, a young girl came here. I was prophesying to her. I said to the young girl, the Lord says you're about to have a wedding. And she said, man of God, my wedding is in three weeks. I said, sister, change your maid of honor. He said, prophet, I've already done the design. I said, hey, change your maid of honor. He said, prophet, I said, sister, okay. I said, who, I said, who is called Helen? He said, my maid of honor. I said, okay. On Tuesday night, around 9 p.m., go to your, your, your sister-in-law's house and see something there. She went there. Her maid of honor is with the sister-in-law spoiling her, telling them, this is my friend, your brother cannot marry her. Oh. This is your friend, your brother cannot marry her. The way she's... She came to her and said, do you want to change her? Papa, I'm changing her now. <laughs> Church, hear me? P, wrong association are destiny deformities. Can I continue? Yes. Can I continue? Yes. Attack on health. When your health is under attack, it can affect your destiny. You are a footballer who can play very well, but your legs are broken. Can you play? I declare nothing will happen to your health. Man. I declare on every organ in your body. Let sickness leave your body right Man. now. Shout, I am free. I am free. I have 12, but I'm giving you only six. And the last one I'm giving you for today. Destiny deformity. Wrong environment. Wrong environment. A wrong environment can affect your destiny. There are some places when you are born there, you have a guarantee of 80%. To do well. Some places, when you are born there, your guarantee is tempered. You have to rise through the other 90. Environment is so serious. I pray that God will order your step to be at the right place at the right time. <laughs> now, Pastor Daniel, if there are destiny deformities, there are also destiny helpers. Now, I'm come to give you half 13. I'm come to give you six. A destiny helper. Never ever forget about this. I keep on telling you this one. Pastors, preachers, men of God. They always tell you, you need a destiny helper. A destiny helper will move you to your destiny. Let me tell you, a destiny helper is not just a human being. Never ever forget. A human being destiny helper is only a one category of the destiny helpers. Destiny helpers are different types. There are 13 types. And this is the first one. But all your life, let, let's say the truth. Let's say the truth. Let's say the truth. All your life, you've been praying for only one destiny helper. A human being. Am I saying the truth? I came to tell you it's a lie. It's only 1%. The human being said it's only 1%. Number one, who are destiny helpers. First destiny helper, the one you already know, is a human being. Somebody has to link you to a person. Somebody has to mention your name to somebody. Somebody has to be there for you. That one is there. But that one alone it will not help you. The second form of destiny helper is very serious. It is called, can I tell you? It's at a correct environment and location. Your environment can help your destiny. Okay, you meet a man who wants to help you, but didn't meet you at the right place. Will you locate the person? No. Somebody has money to give to you at Nunguamo. And you are already a spinter. Can you meet the person? So destiny helper is not a person. It's also a correct environment. Clear example. Do you know, do you know Lamborghini? Do you know Lamborghini car? Yeah. Do you know Lamborghini? Yeah. Do you know Ferrari? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Do you know Ferrari? Yeah. Do you know Lam Lamborghini? Are you sure? Yeah. Do you know B Bugatti Viron? Do you know? Do, 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 do you know Bugatti Chiron? Oh, let me tell you. 
No matter how, it's not me for giving out the picture of Mumuri. Bugatti is a nice car. But if Bugatti is driving on the bad road of Ghana, can it go very far? No. But when it's on a highway, oh my God. I-20, it will go like something. That's right. So the problem was not the Bugatti. The problem was the environment. Yes, sir. So clear example, this is Ghana. This one, I think, is a Porsche. But look at it right now. This is not how the white man created the car. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Some of you, this is how your destiny is. Old. You, you, you carry a Porsche, a Porsche destiny, but at the wrong location. Now, let's see at the right location what will happen. Look at it. Ask the person by you, which ground are you? Which ground are you? Are you at the Ateche ground? Or the correct one? If your destiny is located at the wrong one, I came to do a U-turn and move you to a place of power, a place of destiny. I came to make a U-turn by fire. Some of you begin to wonder, hey, so could I go far like this? Yes, the issue was your ground. Clap your hands and bless God. So look right now, look at me. It is the ground that is helping the car. It's no more the engine again. Because both of them have the same engine. But one of them is going far. So two people, you can be great people, but another person will go beyond the other person because of environment. So this is the dangerous thing. If God says your destiny is in Accra and you go to Canada, you have a problem. And if your destiny is in Canada and you stay, still stay at Accra, you have a problem. Amen. Amen. Third destiny helper. And this one, somebody will jump on their feet, I'm telling you. Can I tell you? Yes. Can I tell you? Yes. It's called the element of favor and grace. Listen, favor and grace is getting something you don't deserve. When you have favor and grace on you, people begin to ask you, how did it happen? Yeah. There are many people here, when I ask you one question right now, how did you build that your house? You can't give an answer. Because when you check money you receive, it cannot build a house. But the time which... <laughs> Clear example. If you check the amount of money you get every month, and you look at your expenses, you say, say another money came from another place. That is what we call favor. When favor is on you, you don't need a makeup for favor. Listen to me. Somebody can do makeup. And go for interview. They'll say go away. Another person will not do makeup. They'll say we have accepted you. It's not about the makeup. It's about the make on. Yeah. Favor that is on you. You hear me? It doesn't mean don't do makeup. Do makeup. It's very nice. Do makeup. <laughs> is that okay? But, but, thank you. But behind the makeup, there have to be an element of favor. Listen to me. The Bible says God was about to destroy the whole universe. And God called one man. His name is called Noah. And God said, but Noah found favor before God. He wants to kill everybody. He picked one person and said, because of you. You and the family, you are free. Because of what? Favor. favor. My God. What to make other people overlook and come to your shop is favor. Because what you are selling, other people are selling. But why did they bypass and they came to you? Is because something is called the element of favor. Element of favor, when you get to a place, everybody likes you. There are some people, when you meet them, no one them. I say the truth. Yeah. But when you lack favor, when people meet you, pet, no, Mubuofu. Don't come to me. Look, when you lack favor, everybody hates you. What made Joseph different was favor. Out of his whole family, his last but one. What? Favor. He became the prime minister. Favor is a destiny helper. Today, may the element of favor, may the fragrance of favor. Uh, Come on, hear me. Favor is a perfume. When it drops on you, you smell good. That is what came on the young girl. Her name is called Esther. She's nobody. A maid servant. The king said, I'm looking for another lady to marry instead of Vasta. 
They check uh, Esther. The Bible says, so, listen to me. When for Esther to become a queen, it was not possible. Because Esther is from Israel, and the king is the king at Medo Persia. Persia. Medo Persia. So in Medo Persia, they are looking for um, virgins to become queens. They will look for a citizen of Medo Persia. But this girl is coming from Israel. It's like we are looking for a, 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 king, a queen of England and somebody coming from Nigeria. <laughs> Is it possible? But she bypassed all the English girls. My God. And from Nigeria, Yoruba. Yes. She became a queen of England. Yes, sir. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Yes, Lord. Because Middle Persia is present day Iran. Present day Iran. So if Persian, present day Iran, a person, a king, King Zexus, trying to become a king, um, looking for a queen, and another person somewhere, do you know something? Which means they didn't check her background. So when favor is on you, it closes the eyes of people from your mistakes. God, my God. Those my who are not clapping here, you have not made mistakes before. If you have made mistakes before, do you know how favor can do? Clear example, man of God, come. Pastor Joe, yes, sir. I want to give a phone to this guy. Then Pastor Joe will tell me, no, don't try. So Pastor Joe, I want to give a phone to this guy. He's a bad boy, don't try. He's a bad boy. I know him. But, 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 but I want to help him. No, 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 he's a very bad boy. I, I want to help him. He's a bad boy, I know him. Listen, but when favor is on him, <laughs> Pastor Joe, I want to help him, but Pastor Joe doesn't want me to help him. But I'll say, Pastor Joe, although you say he's bad, something is still telling me I should still give it to him. This is what God is about to do. When they are spoiling you, somebody will arise and so favor your cause. Let that element of favor, I declare from the altar, 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 some favor. Tell sit down, sit down, sit down. I have a few few minutes to go. Sit down. This is the last time I'm asking you to sit down. The next time, I'm no longer responsible. This is the last time. Sit down, please sit down. You're being disobedient. Sit down. Sit down. Let me end on this last two. Another form of destiny helper. 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 Favor nothing in Pabu. Another form of destiny helper. Can I tell you? I'm about to say it right now and somebody will shout. Can I tell you? Yes. Can I tell you? Yes. Another form of destiny. I said, can I tell you? Yes. Another form of destiny. Can I tell you? Yes. Can I tell you? Yes. Another form of destiny helper. C can I tell you? Yes. I, I, I bet you when I sit, everybody will jump on their feet. Can I tell you? It's money. <laughs> Pastor, done your proof to me. Listen. I know, I, I know you are so intelligent and you want to be a president. Okay, use only your mouth to do campaign. I say use only your mouth to do campaign. If you to travel from Accra to Northern Region, can your mouth take you? It's Listen to me. Element of favor can move you to your destiny. Donald Trump, he's a millionaire. He's a billionaire. But he has a website still looking for money for his campaign. Church, when we were going to school, when we were in tech, after we finished Opokuware, some people didn't pass. But when we went to tech, they were there. I asked one guy, how, how did it happen? He said, I'm a fee paying student. <laughs> Listen to me. Sir, and the, and the fee paying student, they'll do the best courses. Because if, if you. If, if you don't do free paying, government will pay for you, but you, have to say that you pass. But if you don't pass, and your father has money, I get 20, you can still go to school. And the person will end up being, being a doctor. 
Am I saying the truth? Hear me? Money is a driving force. Money is a driving factor for destiny. You want to travel to go and meet a business partner in Dubai? Take your mouth and go. I said, take your mouth and go. Can your mouth take you there? No. Church, listen to me. Money is a driver. Money magnifies what you carry. Money elevates. Okay, 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 okay. Clear example. Do you know the young man? So far, the young man in Ghana who is making waves in the world in music. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? When he started Bad Boys song, people thought he was joking. When a record label held him, his songs are now played even at NBA matches. And it is, it's, not, it's, it's by promotion. Now, they've nominated him for BET. Do you think it's a song alone? I want to ask you one question. The whole Ghana. Is it only Black, Blacko? Who can sing? Is it only him? Is it only him? But, but money has magnified him. <laughs> Money magnifies your talent and your potential. Yes, Lord. Today, may you not lose money. Amen. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. I said, may you not lose money. Amen. May you not lose wealth. Amen. Receive wealth and money. I receive, receive wealth and money. I receive, receive wealth and money. I receive, receive wealth and money. I receive it. Wow. Power of worship. They just came here five years. They've got eight lands in the area. Wow. It, they, they bought all those lands with testimonies. They came as one land here. Now here, they buy house. They break it. They break it. They break it. And we break it with testimonies. We break it with testimonies. What, what do we break it with? Money is a driver. It drives you to purpose. Wherever you lift up your right hand, shout money for seven times. Money, 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 money. Receive, money, receive wealth. Money, receive wealth, receive wealth. Receive wealth, receive wealth. Receive wealth for every side. For you to even lobby in politics, it's money. Um, a, history was, a, history, a history was made in England. That, that the first... Um, Indian to be a prime minister. You already know, right? Rishi Sunak, right? Yeah, we know. L let me tell you, Rishi and the wife, they are not millionaires now, they are billionaires. Rishi's wife, the father is a multi billionaire. What are you talking about? Listen to me. You don't just enter, you, you have to lobby. M listen to me, listen to me. Mo money opens doors. Mo listen to me money make mo mo money will make some people look nonsense in front of you listen to me when people don't respect you and you pull you pull in that family house those who said you are nobody when you get there say all oh, the children with no school fees let me pay it for you those who don't like you will still say yes I'm a sir. listen a funeral can come to a house and they'll say the person dies in january and they'll say they'll do the funeral in November. Yeah. Why? There's somebody in England who is bringing the money for the funeral. And they say we should wait. And the person will be in the mortuary for nine months. More. Yeah. And the certain that sometimes, sometimes the certain that if money is not on you, somebody can disrespect you. May nobody use money to disrespect uh, I said no. May nobody use money to disrespect your life. Uh, and hear me. Sometimes money will cause you to make some decisions you don't want to make. Some decisions you want to Money will cause you to do some impulse decisions that you don't want to make. Listen to me. Money is a... Let, let me tell you something. There's a man in the church. He told me one thing. He's a prophet. I've, I've enjoyed life. I said good. I said what's up? He's a prophet. I like... A particular breakfast in Skipo Airport, Amsterdam, KLM lunch. That's what the man told me. So, Prophet, anytime I, I feel that breakfast, I go to Kutuka. That's what the man told me. He goes to Kutuka in the night. Then he will take KLM flight. So, on the flight, he will sleep on the flight. When they land at Skipo, he will not go out. He go to the KLM lunch, lunch over there, the, the crown land there. He will go and eat breakfast and rest. Because at the land, you can get a place to sleep there. Then, two in the afternoon, he takes the next flight. KL, 
five eight nine back to Accra and said, I'm, I'm listen, this is not a movie, it is I'm, t- I'm telling you. He went to eat breakfast in Amsterdam and came back to Ghana. Listen to me, money. Will, I declare in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of God. So I said, I said, boss, I said, I said, I said, I said, so did you go? I said, no, no, no. When I go, I don't go out, 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 out there. You know the land there. I'll be there because that, 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 yeah. I like your breakfast. So I just went to eat and they came back. I declare by authority. Yes, Lord. I declare by fire. So let, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me give you the last one. Can I give another destiny helper? Can I give you another one? I'm very pick and choose. Elements of the universe can also help your destiny. Prophet Daniel, who are the elements of the universe? The sun, the moon, the wind, the water, the trees, the mountains, the soil. All of them work in your favor. The moon controls the months, and the months are the seasons. If you want to see an Arab signing, ask them. They will tell you, we believe in the sun and the moon. Because God created the sun and the moon for your advantage. When Joshua was fighting, he was being defeated. He said, let the sun stop and fight for me. And Joshua won. Listen, the sun and the moon, they are powerful. Stars, they are powerful. God, Before God will bless Abraham, he said, go and stand outside. Count the stars. This is how I will make you. That's why when somebody becomes great in life, we call them stars. Anybody who is a star, it means their stars are shining. When you're a footballer and you're nobody, you are still not a star. Shine like Kudus. If you shine like Mohammed Kudus, you become a star. Thomas Pate, you become like a star. So stars work for people. And one day I'll teach you about stars. About the or- or- Pleiades, Orions, and what, what each of them represents. Stars control destinies. Your destinies are hidden in stars. That's why anybody who can read your star can control you. Whoever can manipulate your star, they can manipulate your destiny. The, 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 the Mazarot, the Arturus, all of them, they are stars. Different types of stars, and they come at different times. If you know how to read stars, it's very easy. That's why be very careful who you let them place their hand on your forehead. Hey, your forehead is nice, so what was taken out from your head? I want to ask you one question. When you were born, who was the first person who put their hand on your forehead? Did they touch your star or they added more? When you are born, who gave you the first money in your hands? Was that money given to you to give you more money or to take away your destiny? When you are born, who was the first person who bathed you and washed you? Your placenta you came out from. Who buried it? Thank you. Let me tell you. Destiny. Church. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny is who you are. Destiny is who you are. Destiny is who you are. How can people have the same potential? And one rises and another falls down. God connects me to the correct people. Let me find myself in the place where you've designed for my destiny. Where you have purpose for me. Father, may I get there. Yeah, listen to me. In as much as we are black people, we are black people, all right. Let me tell you the truth. We all know England, right? England, Prince William, Prince Charles, Prince Harry. Prince Harry has been cut off from the royal family. I'm not speaking about black people, I'm black people. But all the incident happened when he went to marry another person they didn't want to agree. And now he says, I want to sacrifice myself too. I have come out. So what he has gone through is by virtue of associates. Prince Andrew, they've cut him off. Based on a friendship he went to do with some people some time ago. Um, Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. So hear me? relationships are important in your destiny be very deliberate about your relationships be very deliberate who is connected to you who comes out be very deliberate vet your relationship levels you can be on phone for five hours what are you discussing are you talking business 
Me, when I'm listening to audio on my WhatsApp, every WhatsApp audio has to be not less than three minutes. My time is so economical to me. I have so many things to achieve in life. Many people's destiny are dependent on me by the grace of God. So I can't waste my life. When I waste my life, other people's life will be wasted. Listen to me. So many things you, 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 need, you, you need to do. Listen, you don't, you don't just, you just didn't just appear here. God brought you on earth for a purpose. Wake up, go to school, get a job, get children, die. What did you leave behind in the world? After 100 years, would they mention your name? Or you just be part of the statistics. No. He brought you here to solve a purpose. Solve a problem. And that problem can be solved only you. If you don't solve it, the world will have a question mark. God is moving us to a realm. Moving us to a place of elevation and abundance. Why is it? All of a sudden, Africa has become the host of the whole world. Why is it Africa? All of a sudden, everything Africa, wealth Africa, favor Africa. Why? Because now the stars of Africa are shining. But unfortunately, it's not the Africans who are going to enjoy. Not until the black man rises up and gets to the place of elevation. One guy, one guy, one guy in Tanzania. He is called Muhammad. Muhammad, they were something. Let me tell you, the things the guy is doing in Tanzania. When it comes to Coca-Cola, he has his own more cola drinks, more drinks, everything. More time billionaire, only billionaire at the age of 48 years. And the number of drinks that he, he makes that has been consumed over one billion different bottles for an African. What are you waiting for? Jesus is coming soon. You are waiting. Okay, Jesus is coming soon. Right now, you are 30 years. You live up to 90 years. So the 60 years, what are you doing? So every day, you sleep and wake up. Is he coming? The next day, is he coming? And the 60 years, you've wasted by, is he coming? And he says, occupy till I come. He didn't say, be preoccupied. Occupy. Do something. Get your feet, I'm down. We are moving to a realm. Church, my assignment, I keep on telling you, my assignment is to take you to a place of destiny. Place of elevation, a place of power. Lift up your right hand. Why am I killing myself doing young professionals? Doing politicians network, all these things. Why? Just to make money? No. Empower people everywhere. When you need a position, we just make a phone call and say, push the person there. One young man here was looking for FDA approval for nine months. FDA approval. Waiting, 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 waiting. One day we had a business meeting here. Two weeks ago, he brought it up. And after the service, one guy called me and said, Prophet, the guy looking for the FDA approval, tell him he should worry no more. He should call me tomorrow morning. I'm going to talk to a board member on there. The next day, they spoke. 24 hours, the FDA approval came. The, ne the next day, FDA approval, the next day. This is how you make impact. Networking of destiny. There is more you can do. Lift up your hands. One prayer. One prayer. We have just about 15 minutes to close. Lift up your right hand. Open oh, close your eyes. Why is it? That you went through that childhood attacks. Why is it? It's because you carry something. So will you go through attack for no reason? Then the attack has mafia you. Proof to the attack. Attack. You cannot fight me. Man. Say I enter. I, I enter into my destiny. Into my destiny. destiny. I take over. I, I take, take over. over. Nothing will stop me. Nothing, Nothing will stop me. Nothing will crush me. Nothing will crush me. Clap your hands and pray right now. Clap your hands and pray. Oh, shabalapaya.